I started to grow my nails in 1979. They were probably an inch and three quarters when I decided to stop filing them. And um, I just kind of, a challenge to myself to see how far they would go before they started twisting out of shape. And I couldn't cut them. So they just kept growing and growing and I kept setting dates and dates that I was going to do it. And then I started getting all of this uh, worldwide notoriety and and then it's strange how they become part of you. I just seen this black blur and then this horrible crash and um, I heard fingernails snapping and the door was open and I looked out and I could see the road going and um, I just felt kind of like a suction and I remember nothing after the feeling of being sucked out of the uh, vehicle, but the first thing I spotted was a fingernail, and I just, oh, and I kind of started to cry. There's one of my fingernails. Oh, the thing that bothered me with, with losing my fingernails and stuff was, of course, it was like it becomes your identity, and it was like I felt like I had lost part of that, but yet what a blessing because I probably... Uh, couldn't have cut them back myself. Yeah, I would say I was going to, but they become such a part of you. You know, that was just part of my body that I nurtured and take, took care of for over 30 years. So, of course, it was really, really hard. It was just something I had to accept because I couldn't change anything. People ask if I'm going to uh, grow them again, and I say no, no. That was a one-time Thing, and it took me 30 years to grow them to get to that length. They became the world record and um, I probably wouldn't live for 30 more years. I have very, very fond memories of Melvin. He touched my life. Um, he, it also broke my heart to see this man that wouldn't even go out of his home. The pictures that, that they selected with Melvin and myself is um, totally awesome. He's my brother, you know, and um, it, again, it isn't um, really so much the fingernails. I mean, that brought us together from clear across countries, and, um, but it, we're both, take away the fingernails, we are the same. I just got into growing the nails and going to work, and that gave me something to do as I got into it. You know, like people have a hobby, and uh, that's how it basically started. Once I found out how to deal with a crack or a break, I knew it was, you know, I didn't know what was coming next, but that was my start. As of this point, I feel good for what I have accomplished. It feels great to be in the Guinness Book of Records because it's very few that can make it. I think my fingernails defined me to a lot of people. You know, I was known as the fingernail lady or whatever. But um, to me, I would have to explain to her more, tell them, you know, there really is more to me than my fingernails. And so maybe this is what it's about. Maybe. You know, I need to, to prove that.